Hi, welcome to Learning Monkey. I am Raghuvir. In this class, we will discuss about fundamental theorem of arithmetic. So, in our last class, we clearly discussed about prime factorization, the mathematical proof for prime factorization. We call it as fundamental theorem of arithmetic. Please watch our previous class and come back here. The link for the playlist is provided in the description below. Coming to today's class, in our last class when we discussed prime factorization, this is the statement that is what prime factorization means. Every integer n greater than 1 can be expressed uniquely as product of prime numbers. The point you need to understand, uniquely as product of prime numbers. So what's that uniquely means we are going to understand in the in the bottom steps let's the, try to understand the mathematical proof for this why we can express any number in the form of product of prime numbers so this mathematical proof is divided into two parts first one is existence part and the next one is uniqueness part let's try to understand this existence part using mathematical induction method so what's that mathematical induction method means let's take the basic step the first step is take n is equal to 2 Yes, 2 is a prime number, so we express it in 2 as 2. Uh, we can, uh, so no need to express it in other numbers. Uh, n is equal to 3, 3 is a prime number, no need to express it in remaining, it, it itself is a prime number. n is equal to 4, 4 can be expressed as 2 multiplied by 2, so product of prime numbers. Similarly, n is equal to 5, 5 is a prime number, and n is equal to 6, 6 can be expressed as 2 multiplied by 3 so on n is equal to 7 n is equal to 8 n is equal to 9 n is equal to k plus 1 so if n is equal to k plus 1 n can be of two ways it may be a prime number k plus 1 is a prime number it may be a prime number or it may be a composite number if it is a prime number no need to express because it it's already is it's a prime number but the point you need to understand what happens if it is a composite number. If k plus 1 is composite number. So now the composite, what's the meaning of composite number? What's, what's the meaning of prime number? Prime number can be divisible by only the number itself or you can divide it with 1. No other number in between 1 and the given number is able to divide that number. That is what prime number means. Similarly, what is meant by composite number? Somewhere in between 2 and the given number, some other number is going to divide this number. Then we say it is composite number. So from this, if k plus 1 is composite number, means that k plus 1 can be expressed as, we can express that k plus 1 using u multiplied by v. These u and v are the numbers between 2 and k. 2 and k. We can express that. That is what divisibility means. k plus 1 is divided by some other number between 2 and k plus 1. So that's why 2 less than or equal to u and v can be are the numbers that between 2 and k. So now u and v, you know, from the mathematical induction, previous numbers u and v already expressed as prime numbers, product of prime numbers. So that's why you take any number, that number can be expressed as product of prime numbers. Because it is, that number can be expressed as u and v, u and v are already expressed as product of prime numbers. With example you will get clarity. Let's take 32. 32 is not a prime number. It can be expressed as u multiplied by 8, 8 fours. It can be expressed as 8 as u, 4 as v. 8 and 4 already expressed as product of prime numbers. In which way we can express 2 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 2, 2 cube. u can be expressed as, u, uh, v can be expressed as, v means 4. 4 can be expressed as 2 multiplied by 2. So that's why, that's why the given number 32 can be expressed as 2 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 2. 2 power 5 is the way we can express 32 as a product of prime numbers. Like that 32 plus 1, k plus 1, 33 can be expressed. 34, any number can be expressed because the previous numbers are already expressed in the form of product of prime numbers. That is what the mathematical proof for writing 
you take any number you can express it in product of prime numbers the second part you need to understand we can express only in uniqueness uniqueness means 32 example take 32 32 can be expressed only in one way that is 2 power 5 this is the only way we can express 32 you cannot express using a 3 multiplied by 5 multiplied by some other prime numbers. The only way you can express is only one way you can express. Why? Why we can express only in one way, not in two different, two ways. Let's try to understand mathematically. Assume that we have taken a number k plus 1. k plus 1 can be expressed in two ways. We are assuming that k plus 1 can be expressed in two ways. We need to prove that it is not possible. So, k plus 1 can be expressed as p1, p2, so on, pn. All these are prime numbers. Similarly, k plus 1 can be expressed as q1, q2, so on, qm. All these are prime numbers. So, let us take one of the numbers from p's, p1. p1 is going to divide k plus 1. Yes, then only it is possible multiples of these numbers is a k plus 1. Means p1 is going to divide all these are prime numbers. Means definitely it is going to divide k plus 1. So p1 divides k plus 1. From this we can say that p1 divides this q1, q2, so on up to p1 divides q1 up to qm. All these are also prime numbers because all these are prime numbers. No other number is going to divide these numbers. Means definitely we can say that P1 is equal to Q. Some, some of the number. So P1 divides Q1, Q2, so on, QM. Means one of the number it is going to divide. I assume that number is QK. Definitely these two numbers should be same. Because this P1 is prime number. QK is also prime number. P1 is going to divide QK means definitely P1 equal to P QK because both are prime numbers. Otherwise, it is not divisible. So, that's why you can, you take P2, definitely it is going to divide some other number from Q. You take the next number means whatever the numbers you write here, it should be matched here. Then only it is possible. That's why we can express only in one way we cannot express in multiple ways that is what uniqueness means hope you understand this mathematical proof if you have any questions regarding the concept please post your questions in the comment section below thanks for watching if you haven't subscribed to our channel please subscribe to our channel and press bell icon for the latest updates thank you